Drone sales are soaring this holiday season. One consumer group says shoppers will buy more than a million drones leading up to the holidays. That's half of all drone sales expected this year. Safety concerns are rising as well. Carter Evans shows us how new technology can prevent drone users from entering dangerous territory. Drones show the world from a new perspective. But even as they push the limits, some drone makers say it's time to limit their capabilities to help their customers. We have certain restricted areas that's built into the drone already, so you physically cannot go in there. Willis Chung is the marketing director for DJI, which sells more drones than any other single manufacturer. The company's flight control app builds virtual fences around high security locations where drones have caused problems before, like airports and nuclear facilities. The app monitors a drone's location using GPS and prevents it from crossing the invisible barriers indicated in red. With permission from air traffic control, okay. we tested the technology at Burbank Airport outside Los Angeles. As our drone headed toward the busy runway, the app flashed several warnings. I'm going full speed ahead. And then it hit the wall. Uh, once you hit that wall, it's not going to allow you to go up or out. It'll allow you to go back and down. The app updates in real time, so the company can quickly build temporary virtual fences around fast-moving wildfires or high-profile political and sporting events. What we see with new features like geofencing is that it creates a strong balance between a safe flying environment as well as an environment that continues to foster innovation. But DJI does allow customers to unlock restricted areas. If it's a system that can be bypassed, then what good is it in the first place? The geosystem isn't an isn't an authorization mechanism. Well, the geosystem is a tool for any pilot to just use to make smarter decisions on where to fly. And most drone makers don't set any flight restrictions at all. So some companies are now using anti-drone technology to detect intruders and protect sensitive airspace. This device jams a drone's remote control signals, allowing federal authorities to take over, while this drone-mounted system shoots a net to catch other drones mid-flight. But law enforcement agencies in the Netherlands are going low tech, using specially trained eagles to take down drones. Now, if you get a drone this holiday season, you're gonna have to register it with the FAA unless it's under half a pound in size, like this one. Now, if you wanna sell the pictures and video that you get from your drone, in that case, you're gonna need a commercial drone pilot's license. You can get that from the FAA as well. For CBS This Morning, Carter Evans, Studio City, California. That's awesome. Wow. Eagle versus drone. Yeah. Eagle wins. I'm for the eagle every Me time. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> it's terrific.